In April, Joe Douglas and the New York Jets drafted not one, but two Michael Carters. Well, in week two against New England, they were both standouts on their respective sides of the ball. Michael Carter, the running back, was explosive and showed great short area quickness. He averaged over six yards per touch against New England. And then on the defensive side of the ball, Michael Carter II excelled from the slot for the second week in a row. He's averaging just four yards per reception allowed. That leads the NFL. So let's jump into the All-22 and show you why there was double trouble for the Michael Carters on Sunday. Welcome back to the Play Like a Jet film room, everyone. I'm Luke Grant, and we're going to start today off with Michael Carter, the running back. So the first play we've got here really showcases Michael Carter's vision in the hole and then his ability to get skinny and that wiggle in a phone booth, which was so impressive at UNC. So the Jets here, they're running wide zone left and the target or the landmark that he set is the outside foot of the tight end or if he's not there, the ghost tight end. He's reading from the last man in the line of scrimmage, which is the outside linebacker Matt Judon here. And if he plays with outside leverage, then Michael Carter needs to read the cutback lanes from the C gap to the B gap to the A gap. So as the play rolls on here, you can see the number one read for him is extremely messy. Matt Judon has outside leverage and he's also congested the C. The helmet in the B gap, George Fant, that means it's a no-go. He then spots, okay, my lane here on this play is the cutback to the A gap. He sees that Elijah Vera Tucker has done a terrific job and now he's able to not only do that, but displace him from the line of scrimmage and allow Michael Carter to wiggle through that hole. But what he does after the play, as we watch it back again, not just great vision to scan, get through the A gap, but it's this little bounce from side to side here, the lateral movement off the instep, and then the ability to make that corner miss in space. The second play we're looking at is another example of a wide zone. This time they're heading right and you've got Morgan Moses on the front side of the play. It's a much simpler read for Michael Carter. You're gonna see Ryan Griffin, the tight end, does a great job pancaking the outside linebacker. And as we freeze it here, Morgan Moses has his head on the outside of the safety, which means he has leverage and Michael Carter's free to attack the C gap. But again, in space, I love the wiggle. I love the ability to jump cut to the outside, to bounce it out and change direction without losing speed. This is such an incredibly important part of this, the running back position. Short change of direction in a phone booth and he does it time after time. The next one, more an inside running play. And what I want you to watch off the bat is actually the right guard, Greg Van Roten. He just gets bullied backwards. This is an inside running play and Michael Carter looks up and he has Van Roten in his lap. He has the ability and wherewithal to bounce it to the outside, to read his blocks, and then finish over his pads and get six, seven yards after contact. Watch it again in full speed. Ability to bounce it, vision, smarts, and then ability to finish with his head over his shoulder pads. I love that. But what makes him even more special is his ability to win as a pass catcher on second and third down. Again, you want to get the ball to Michael Carter in space. Little play action, throw it to him in the flat, and look how he makes a defender miss. Balance after contact, keep the legs churning, and then the ability to turn a five or six yard play into a 15 yard reception. It's a special ability, and this is why the Jets fell in love with Michael Carter in the draft process, and waiting through the third round was extremely excruciating for Robert Suller and co. And finally, there's three facets of the game for a running back, and the reason he'll be on the field on third down is his ability to pass protect. Michael Carter has graded over 80 as a pass blocker so far through PFF in the first two weeks. And watch here the way he scans the linebackers. He's able to identify the B gap as the area of need and then get his body in front of a much bigger 300 pound athlete. This is the toughness. This is the vision. And he's an excellent pass protector. Michael Carter had a tremendous game against New England. But as I mentioned off the top, the Jets drafted two Michael Carters. The second one, the DB out of Duke, and he was fantastic in week two as he was in week one against the Panthers. In the aforementioned game against Carolina, he played a lot of man in the slot, but last week we saw his feel and how well he plays in zone coverage. In this play, he's lined up second from the bottom of screen. He's on the number two receiver, and this is in cover four. Robert Sala plays more of this. I want you to watch the trust he has in his feet, ability to read and react, and then mirror the wide receiver. So the receiver's selling a little slant here. He does a great job of then not over-pursuing, identifying a little whip route, and then he looks like the shadow. The trust in his feet, the patience he has, the ability to not over-pursue and then change direction quickly is special from Michael Carter II. 
On this play this time, he's at the top of your screen or second from the top of your screen in the slot. And this is in a cover three look, which you see again a lot from Robert Sala. And this is all about keeping it in front. He IDs right now that the number one receiver is going deep. He's passed him off. And now his only responsibility is a running back in the flat. Watch him put his foot in the ground and close for the tackle. This is a phenomenal job. He's a plus athlete. This is a guy that runs in the mid four threes and you can see it. Identify, put your foot in the ground, read and react and close with a great form tackle. I love it. For the last play in our review, Michael Carter is again second from the top of your screen. They're in more of a cover six look, so they're playing quarters at the top. And this is about identification and football IQ. He sees here there's a little smoke route on, a little screen, so he starts to shoot it. But he identifies the RPO. He understands he has to sit in this little slant lane before he over pursues. He sees, reads, and reacts. He doesn't quite stick the tackle, but still does a very good job slowing down his feet before contact, breaking it down so he doesn't miss it. And makes the tackle for loss. Watch it one more time at full speed. Does a great job. RPO sits, squats, and then takes it away after he's sure and it confirms what he's seeing. Michael Carter and Michael Carter II were fantastic for the Jets. The rookie class on the whole was really good. It's very pleasing for Robert Sulla and for Joe Douglas. They need more from Michael Carter squared come Sunday.